This is hourglass part two. Let me show you how far we've gotten up to so far. What we've done so far is we've popped the yo-yo out of the string, we pulled in, and we've learned to land the yo-yo onto the string. The next few parts of it uh, look like this. I'm going to show you what it looks like again for a trick. It pops out, you bring it around, hit in, you go in and hit, and you come back through and hit, just like that. So, one more time. What we do is we swing out, get to that part one, you want to hit onto that string, just like that. Then you want to go in and bring it back around. You'll notice that if you just dropped right now, you'd probably get a knot. Because um, what you've done is you actually came around and you wrapped around the yo-yo. So what you want to do is undo. You want to come back through that triangle, like I just did there, and land it back onto the string. From here, you can actually just repeat the process. It goes in. Now we've got another knot if we were to drop it here. You can swing it back through and back to the triangle. The whole basic idea with this trick is that you've created a triangle of string. You can pop it in and out of this string however you want. This configuration I'm showing you is just one way to do it. But you'll notice I can just go back and forth popping it in and out. And as long as you do it an even amount of times, you'll come out without a knot. So one more time for hourglass. You pop it out and off. Open up those two triangles, swing it up and onto that string there. You can let it drop in to land on, let it come back through that triangle. You can do this a couple times. And then to dismount, you just basically drop everything else and come back to a trapeze. So that's hourglass.